Hi, my name is Lindsay Peterson, and I work for the Civil War and Reconstruction Governors of Mississippi Project, or CWRGM. And today I want to introduce you to the website so you can start to use it to find primary sources for your National History Day projects. So this website is, um, is freely housing loads of primary sources that were sent to the governors of Mississippi during the American Civil War and Reconstruction. Not all of our letters are at the website yet, but by 2030, all 20,000 of our documents will be listed here. Right now we have about 7,000 and that's still tons of primary sources for you to use for your project. So first and foremost, to use this website for your research, go to cwrgm.org, which you can see here in this box, right? cwrgm.org. Once you're here, if you know your topic already, one way to find documents is the search the documents bar. This is a keyword searchable bar. And so if you're interested in emancipation, for example, you can type that in, hit search, and it will bring up all the documents in our collection or many of the documents in our collection that refer to emancipation. So for example, you can scroll through this page, right? There's 84 documents listed on this page. You can scroll through and see some of the key subjects and people and places that are being listed in this document. And you might think that this document here um, discussing emancipation and enslaved people and the Republican Party, you might think that this is a useful source for you. And so click on it and it's going to show you a few different things. Um, first, you have the title of the letter for your citations that you're writing. You also have an original scan of the letter and it's high quality so you can blow it up and it will not get blurry. And on the right hand side, you also have a transcription of the letter. And so if you struggle to recursive or you're not sure what the word in the letter is when you're looking at the image, you can look at this transcription and it'll clarify for you what is being written in the letter. So keyword searching is a great way to find source materials. You will also notice we have an advanced search option where you can narrow your search by date um, and different things like that. The other thing to look at is this explore the collection tab. So this is going to bring up what we call subject tags, and it's basically just key terms that appear in these letters. So for example, if you look at this letter, you can see um, Raleigh, North Carolina, or this person, uh, Governor William Sharkey, is being uh, underlined and highlighted here. You can click on this and it'll take you to all letters that reference um, William Sharkey. And so use this Explore the Collection to look at all these different key terms that pop up in letters. This is a great way for you to be inspired and find a topic. It's also a great way when you already know your topic to find letters that pertain to it because writers of letters don't always refer to what they're talking about in the same language that you'll use in the, um, in the search bar. So for example, if you're sticking with um, our example of emancipation, you might wanna go to the events page and go to E and look at this subject tag here or this subject tag here, right? So this tag here has four documents that are specifically referring to the Emancipation Proclamation itself. And so you might wanna use these documents because they talk about how people responded to and experienced the Emancipation Proclamation. And that's really important to pull in ordinary people's voices into your research, not just the act of the Emancipation itself, Emancipation Proclamation itself. You also might look at these 49 documents pertaining to the experience of emancipation, right? The Emancipation Proclamation is passed, but how do people experience it? How do people react to it? And so looking at that subject tag will bring you to um, a wealth of new documents that you can use for your primary source research. So again, I encourage you to dive into cwrgm.org, start keyword searching in the search bar for documents and start exploring the collection through these key terms and subject tags. And it'll help you find lots of primary sources if you're doing a National History Day, a National History Day topic on Mississippi history or Civil War history, slavery, race relations, reconstruction. There are loads of topics that can be done um, using the primary sources that appear in this collection.